Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In our previous session, uh, we uh, learned about the creation of basic saved search. And in today's session, I will tell you about some more interesting and some more uh, advanced feature of uh, Net NetSuite saved search. But uh, before uh, moving uh, towards our today's uh, concern, uh, let's take a quick recap of our previous step that we have uh, taken uh, while creating our uh, basic saved search. So the first step in that was we have to select the record type first, like uh, saved search can be created for transactions, for accounting periods, for fixed assets. So the first thing, the first step uh, in creating a saved search is we have to select a record type. And after selecting the record type, the second step is we have to give a, a proper name for our saved search for our uh, ready and easy reference. Then we have to make this search available uh, for public so that uh, people can access that. And if we want to make it available as a list view, as a dashboard view, so we can do that. After that, we have to provide a certain criteria uh, so that, you know, our search results could get uh, uh, narrowed. Uh, the criteria is used for narrow down our search. Then after uh, providing the criteria, we have to select uh, the things that we want to display in our reports. So that that is for the results and then uh, after providing the results, we can uh, save and run our reports. So this is about the basic steps that are there in uh, creating a saved search. And today we will you know, uh, know about some more uh, functionalities of uh, NetSuite saved search, which includes inserting formulas, uh, applying the operators and highlightings and how can we schedule the uh, saved search. So we will be knowing about that. So this is my saved search, uh, which is named as customer invoice search. I have selected the record type as transaction. And uh, here you can see that I have made, uh, I have made this uh, search available for public and as a list view. Here is my criteria under which I have mentioned the type main line and main, main line and date. The results are the things that I want to show into my reports. So these are my uh, results that will be displayed in the report. So uh, here we have, uh, you know, uh, we learn, we have, I have already, you know, selected the results over here, but uh, our today's concern are uh, inserting formulas and applying, you know, functions on it. So if we go into the summary type here, so under the summary, we have uh, these options uh, for grouping uh, any particular uh, field. Like if I selected date here, so if I group it, so it will be grouped like that. Like if I take this name, that is the, that are the names of customer. And if I select the summary type and I want to group this uh, customer, so I will click on group. I will click OK. And for amount, usually under the summary type, uh, it is selected as sum. I want the, to apply the sum. I will click on OK. And if I want to see uh, how, you know, these uh, summary type is working in my saved search. So I will preview it. So you can see that the customers have been grouped over here and the sum of their amounts are also grouped. As I have selected the summary type, so, you know, it has summarized my report. It uh, only, uh, as I have selected another summary type, only the customers and the amount of foreign currency so it has grouped uh, it has you know uh, provide me the sum of the amount and it, it has grouped the customer accordingly so total uh, currently i have a uh, total uh, 10 uh, customer invoices and these are all grouped so this is about the summary type it provides us the summary of our uh, saved search Now I will be removing it in order to show the application of formula.
Apart from summary type, there are various other functions that can be applied to our uh, results. So we can apply it. Like if I go into the amount here, so I can apply this percentage of total if I want to apply the absolute value function. Like applying formulas and functions in the NetSuite provides more usefulness to the safe search. So in this manner, we can provide, we can apply, we can insert functions to our results. Moving ahead towards the formula, so here, are, where the, here, uh, with the various various options are available for inserting formula, like formula text, formula date, formula numer numeric, formula percent, formula currency. So uh, here, uh, for the first one, I have selected the date uh, formula, that for, sorry, text formula. And in NetSuite Safe Search, there are various uh, date formats uh, that are available, of which uh, two underscore date and two underscore, two, two underscore care are the more popular one. So from that, I have selected that uh, two underscore character date created. This is the format that I have selected that consists of month and year only. And under the custom level, I have mentioned date to text. So I will show you this on my, you know, how it is uh, working, how it is uh, looking in my reports. So I will preview it. So here you can see this is the formula that I have applied for the date uh, as I have selected the month and the year format. So it is uh, given in this format. Uh, it is it has taken according to the date on which the records have been created so this is the first formula that is uh, uh, visible in my report and it is following the uh, month and year format i will be going back to the criteria to show you the other formulas so uh, if we go down here so here i have used a case statement under the numeric ones that is used for the amount. So here I have used the case when uh, when the amount is you know greater than 2000 then it should uh, uh, provide me the output of 5000 and if it and the condition is not fulfilled then the result will be ended by providing the value of uh, 1000 only. So I will show you how this formula is uh, working in my report my saved search. I will preview it. So here you can see under the amount, the amount of foreign currency that is more than uh, 2,000 are, uh, you know, showing the amount of 5,000. So this is for $5,200, it is showing the 5,000, but this is for 500, which is lesser than uh, 2,000. So it is ending on 1,000. So the condition is not fulfilled. The amount is not greater than 2,000. That is why the result is showing me 1,000. So this is how my second formula is working on my safe search. The other one that I have used here is the formula text. And this is for the amount net. You can see uh, that I have used here uh, the null value formula for calculating the uh, net amount. And uh, I have, you know, deducted the tax amount from the total. And I have put this formula over here. Now we will preview and see the result of it. Here you can see this is the amount net. Uh, that is you know that has come after deducting the tax amount from the total ones so this has come uh, just uh, with the help of that formula that i have put over there so in this manner i have applied here two three formulas for amount uh, for date and for uh, the total amount by using the date format, by using the case and by using the null value. So in this manner, we can uh, use the formula. Once we get familiar with this, so we can easily create our safe search. 
the other way for uh, inserting a formula in the net suite by is by using the use expression option and you can see that if i have checked this box now uh, we can apply operators uh, like and or not and parentheses are also available here we have to provide a uh, certain conditions for it uh, for the you know uh, formula to be to be executed in our saved search so here we can use the parenthesis open here we can use the parenthesis close and we can apply these operators and or or not in this manner we can uh, select uh, the required expressions and operate uh, and use operators so this is about the formula and the functions if we go ahead towards the highlighting so highlighting you know is used to uh, 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 highlight the things uh, that we want to be more focused on like if uh, we have to provide a condition for it so here if i want to set anything i want to set date i want to see the results of any particular date so I want uh, to highlight the transaction from 3rd of January to 31st March. I will select it. Set OK. And uh, I want to show it with the text color of as highlightings are used for. So I have selected this color. I will click on add. I want to add another condition for highlighting my results. So let's say if I want to view the status of all the opened invoices. And I want to show it with the background color. I will click add. So I have provided these two conditions for highlighting my results. If I preview it. So now you can see that the invoices that are opened are shown with this uh, color. And uh, the other uh, highlighting condition that I have used is for date. That is for 3rd January to 31st March. So all these uh, records are showing with the uh, blue uh, text color. So in this manner, we can apply the highlights to our saved search. A very interesting tool to be used. This is about the highlighting. And available filters, under available filters, uh, I have selected these two that is stated, status and the date created and I want to show it on my saved search page. So I have checked the boxes as yes. If we go into the audience here, so if I, if we want to, you know, allow certain uh, uh, roles or certain subsidiaries employees to have access on it, so we can, you know, select it. Like if I check this box, so it will be, you know, um, as I have already selected public over there and uh, if you want to uh, make this safe search available for few roles so we have to remove this checkbox and now if you want to uh, allow the access of it to certain roles only certain people certain uh, roles only so you can select it accordingly rather than selecting all so I have selected all and uh, in, sim in the similar manner we can uh, select subsidiaries also we can select employees departments also this is about the access uh, level and uh, this uh, scheduling of our saved search this is one also an important feature of our uh, saved search net, net suite saved search 
so here you know uh, if i check this box so when the records get updated or created the uh, email alerts will be sent automatically if i check this box and if i don't check this box uh, if i want to schedule uh, the no notification so if i check it so for that we have to schedule it by going in by going over here this is the scheduling event like uh, for which uh, time uh, for which and for which even do we want to make this uh, saved search to be scheduled to be notified so it can be for single event it can be a daily weekly monthly or yearly event so in this manner we can schedule our uh, saved search report with the help of send email according to schedule here we can mention the uh, time and date also under the specific recipient we have to mention the name of the number oh, sorry uh, the name of the person whom do we want to send this notification for we have to uh, mention their names with the help of this list option so usually if i don't want to be scheduled uh, schedule this uh, saved search so if uh, i check this box so when the records get created and updated it will uh, send the notification alerts so in this manner we can uh, schedule our saved search and after doing all this uh, we can uh, simply save and run it so this is my saved search you can see that i have applied formulas here i have applied the highlightings i have shown you how uh, we can make this search available to the various roles and subsidiaries and all and i have also shown how the formulas and functions are actually working how can we have the summarized view of our saved search results so that's all from my side in case of any questions and queries you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you